All right. Time to ditch that same old dinner and a movie. Ah, yeah. Let's uh, dive into some free date ideas. Sounds fun. You know, you shared some articles with us uh. and we went through them looking for some really good ones, ones that'll help you connect with your date without having to spend any money. Yeah, absolutely. So get ready for some outdoor adventures, cultural things, and maybe even some friendly competition. I think a lot of these free activities are actually you know, oh, yeah. really good for those early stages of it, dating. I can see that. Like you're just trying to get to know someone. Right. And honestly, these activities can tell you a lot more about a person yeah. than like going to some expensive dinner. Totally. Okay. So let's start with the outdoors. Okay. Both articles mentioned hiking, going to the beach, even starbeezing. Oh, nice. But it's more than just being outside, right? Yeah. I, I mean, think about it. <laughs> when you're out in nature, maybe on a tough trail together. Mm-hmm. Or even just looking up at the stars, there's this feeling like, you know, yeah. you're both a little vulnerable, a little in awe of everything. Yeah. And it kind of breaks down those walls people put up. Right. It makes you talk about more meaningful stuff. And that can really bring you closer. Makes sense. It's like you're both experiencing something bigger than yourselves. I like that. And that that can be a really powerful feeling, you know? Yeah. And one of the articles said oh, yeah. to try and find a dark spot for stargazing, yeah. like away from all the city lights. <laughs> Let, it's like you. you're creating your own little world yeah. just for one night. Who wouldn't find that romantic? It's so true. So we've done the mountains. We've done the night sky. Uh huh. Now, how about some cultural experiences? Okay. I'm not we've got look. museums with free admission days, volunteering together. Those are classics. Oh, and even attending open houses, that one kind of surprised me. Open houses, hmm, that's interesting. Right. But think about the conversations you could have. Okay. Like, oh, so you'd live in a super minimalist loft. Tell me more about that. Uh-huh, yeah. Gives you this little peek into what they want. Their style. Their taste, even how they think about money. And volunteering together. Oh, that's a great one. You really get to see what someone's made of. Definitely. Are they excited to help out? Do they take charge? It's a real test. Actions speak so much louder than words, you know? Totally agree. It's not just talking about what you believe in, it's showing it. Okay, so for those who like a little more action on their dates. Yeah, let's hear it. Both articles had some pretty fun ideas. Okay. Kickleball's super popular right now. That's true. And one article even said to test drive a fancy car. Ooh, <laughs> I like that. They're not afraid to get a little playful with it, right? Exactly. And, you know, a little friendly competition can be a, a good icebreaker. Totally. See your date's competitive side, yeah. how they handle winning or losing. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And most importantly, if they can laugh at themselves. And hey, test driving a car you could never afford. Uh-huh, right. That's a fun fantasy we can all get behind. Sure. But for those who want something a bit more, I don't know, edgy. Oh. How about axe growing? Axe throwing. I know, right? That seems intense. Yeah, but it could be a lot of fun. Hmm, maybe. You're challenging yourselves, cheering each other on. Sure. Maybe even discover a hidden talent for hitting that bullseye. Uh-huh, yeah. And plus, one of the articles mentioned. What's that? There's often beer involved, which always helps loosen things up. Okay, so I'm seeing a theme here. Yeah. Shared experiences that get you excited, make you feel like a team. I like that. It's not just doing something together. Yeah. It's making a memory, having a story you can laugh about later. Exactly. So we've got the adventurous dates. Yep. But what about those who prefer something more low-key? Ah, the quiet ones. Well, our articles had some good ideas for them, too. Okay, like what? A movie marathon at home, game night, even pet sitting together. Pet sitting, that's cute. Oh, right. What I find interesting about these more chill activities, yeah. they often create this feeling of intimacy, being vulnerable with each other. In a way. You're inviting someone into your space, your comfort zone. It's true. And that can be a really strong way to connect, to make things deeper. One article mentioned pet sitting. Oh, yeah. I thought that was interesting because it shows you someone's domestic side. I see what you mean. Like, can they handle a pet? Right. Are they responsible, caring? It's a subtle thing, but it tells you a lot. You pick up on those little everyday things so and you really start to see their personality, how they live their life. Okay. All this talk about dates is making me hungry. Me too. Luckily, our articles didn't forget about food. Uh huh. Cooking classes, walking through a farmer's market, even weekend brunch. 
so many options. And food dates are great for a lot of reasons. Yeah, like what? They get all your senses involved. Mm. You're experiencing something delicious together. Right. And it gives you a glimpse into their taste, what they like. What they go for. Do they like trying new things? Interesting. Or do they stick with what's familiar? I see your point. And one article talked about how a farmer's market date can be really strategic. Oh, how so? If things are going well, you can grab some ingredients for a romantic dinner. That's smart. And if not, well, at least you've got some fresh produce for the week. Haha, uh -huh. exactly. But we can't forget about laughing together. Of course not. The article suggested checking out a stand-up comedy show. Oh, fun. Or an outdoor concert. Yeah, I like that. There's just something so great about experiencing humor with someone else. It brings you together. But, oh my gosh, can you imagine right. sitting there with a straight face while the comedian's killing it? Oh. Or even worse, if they totally bomb. It could happen. I know. But, you know, even a bad comedy show can be a bonding experience, right? It's true. It's how you handle those awkward moments. Right, exactly. But one article did mention something to be careful of. What's that? Sitting too close to the stage at a comedy show, you never know, you might become part of the act. Yikes. So maybe avoid heckling the comedian on a first date, right? Yeah, probably a good idea. But what's really interesting is that these entertainment options show us. Show us what? How powerful it is to share emotions, mm. whether it's laughter, excitement, even a little bit of fear, you yeah. can really bring you closer to someone. Wow, I'm starting to see free dating in a whole new light. Me too, me too. And speaking of deeper connections. Go on. It's like, you got to be smart about what you pick, you know? Yeah. These articles aren't just saying, hey, do all this free stuff. Right, right. They're making you think, okay, what kind of experience do I want to have? Mm -hmm. And what do I actually want to learn about this person? It's like a strategy guide for dating, yeah. but it's disguised as all these fun activities. Exactly. You got to be thoughtful, even when you're trying to keep things casual and cheap. You know, one thing that stood out to me yeah, was how both articles said to make sure the date idea matches you and your date's personalities. Oh, absolutely. Like taking someone who hates being outside on a crazy hike. Yeah. Probably not going to end well. No, not a good idea. It's about showing them that you're paying attention. Exactly. To what they like, that you want both of you to have a good time. And that means a lot, even if you're not spending a dime. So it's not just finding any free activity. Nope. It's about finding the right one. The one that fits. And if you think about it. Yeah. That's kind of what we do here on Deep Dive, right? I like that. We help you go through all the info and find what's best for you. Uh-huh. We're like dating Sherpas. What? You know, guiding you through the crazy but fun world of dating. I love that. But you know what really surprised me? What's that? How funny some of these suggestions were. Oh, I know, right? Like axe throwing. Who knew that could be romantic? It's a perfect example of how something that seems kind of wild yeah. can actually bring you closer and make you laugh together. And let's be real, a little bit of danger can be exciting. Uh-huh, true, true. Especially when there might be beer involved. Oh, yeah. Gotta love that. But seriously, I was also really struck by yeah. how much the articles focused on shared values and interests, mm -hmm. like volunteering together or going to a community event. Mm -hmm. Those can tell you a lot about someone's character and what's important to them. And it gets you talking about more than just the surface stuff. Exactly. You're already doing something meaningful together. Yeah. And that can make you feel like you're on the same team working towards the same goal. Plus, you actually get to see them in action. Definitely. It's one thing to hear them talk about their values. Mm -hmm. But it's totally different to see them actually living them out. So true. It's like a glimpse into who they really are. Exactly. I'm starting to feel like a dating detective. Uh -huh. But in a good way. It's like <laughs> we're giving people the tools to figure out dating. We're helping them be more picky. Yeah. To choose dates that match what they want in a relationship. Okay, let's switch gears for a sec. And talk about setting the right mood for a date. All right. Our sources had some interesting ideas. Like what? From a cozy movie night at home. Classic. To stargazing under a clear sky. I like that. Yeah. It's amazing how these simple things can make a big difference. Right. Like a nice dinner at home with candles. Oh, yeah. It feels super romantic. It's true. Even without the crazy restaurant prices. You're creating a setting where you can connect and just talk. Exactly. And don't forget about music. Oh, the music. A good playlist can really set the mood. 
Totally agree. Whether it's something slow and romantic for a night in, mm -hmm. or something upbeat and fun for going out. Music can totally transport you. To another place, another feeling. And it creates something you can both experience together. Absolutely. It's like this invisible thread. I love that. Connecting you and your date, making things more intimate. Now I want to make the perfect free date playlist. Uh-huh. Nice. But before we get lost in the music, yeah. let's come back to personalizing these date ideas. Oh, right, right. Our sources gave us a great starting point, mm. but it's up to each person to add their own touch. Totally. Make it their own. Take these suggestions. Yeah. Add your personality, your interests, maybe even some inside jokes with your date. It's those little things that make a date special. For sure. Instead of just any movie marathon, yeah. why not choose movies that mean something to both of you? I like that. Or that have to do with something you both like. Oh, good idea. What about turning that farmer's market trip into a game? A game. Like, who can find the weirdest ingredient? Uh-huh. I love it. Ooh. Or even a scavenger hunt with clues about your date's interests or inside jokes. You're on a roll. It's about being creative and thinking outside the box. Make it something they'll never forget. And that's what Deep Dive is all about. What do you mean? We're not just giving info. Right. We're trying to inspire people. Yeah. Showing them what's possible and then letting them run with it. We give them the tools and cheer them on. It's up to them to make something amazing. All right. I feel ready to plan my next awesome free date. I'm with you. But before we wrap up. Yeah. I wanted to go back to something you said earlier. Oh, about? About matching date activities with relationship goals. Oh, right, right. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Sure. It's basically about knowing what you want from dating. Okay. Are you looking for something casual mm -hmm. or something serious, long-term? Ah, I see. The things you do on a date can kind of hint at what you're hoping for. So like a fancy dinner at a really expensive restaurant yeah. might say, I'm looking for a relationship. Exactly. While a casual game of mini golf might say, let's just have some fun. Exactly. It's about being upfront with yourself and with them. About what you want. Yeah, and choosing things to do that fit with those goals. Sets the right tone that, from the beginning. Right, exactly. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And it brings us back to communication. Oh, always important. Even when you're just starting to date someone. Exactly. Being open and honest about what you want. Can save you a lot of trouble later on. Totally agree. Open and honest communication is so important. It's the foundation of any good relationship. Romantic or not. For sure. It's about creating a space yeah. where you can both... Be yourselves and say what you need. Well said. So we've gone through a ton of free date ideas. We have. Talked about how to create a really memorable experience mm -hmm. and even discussed how to match activities with what you want in a relationship. We covered a lot. And we did it all with our usual mix of humor, insight, and maybe a little bit of mischief. Uh-huh. A little mischief keeps things interesting. You're right, but you know what? Yeah. That's probably a topic for another deep dive. You're probably right. But for now, yeah. let's leave our listeners with something to think about. Okay, I like that. Like what? We've talked a lot about doing things together. Shared experiences. But what about those quiet moments where you really connect? Oh, I see what you mean. Those little gestures, the looks you share, the things you understand without even saying them. It's true. Those are the moments that stay with you. You're bringing the romance today. Uh-huh. <laughs> Maybe a little. But you're right. It's often those quiet, intimate moments that make a date really special. Think about it. Okay. How can you create those moments on a free date? Hmm. Good question. Maybe it's just sitting quietly together, watching the sunset. I like that. Or enjoying a cup of coffee after a walk in the park. Our listeners are going to have a lot to think about after this deep dive. I think so, too. It's funny, right? What is? How we can get so caught up in, like... Planning the perfect date, mm -hmm. you know, finding the right thing to do, making sure the mood is right. Yeah, yeah. That we forget about the little things. The small stuff. That really make a connection. Yeah, it's easy to miss those. It's easy to focus on the big picture. Right. And not see those little things. The nuances. Yeah, the looks, the unspoken stuff. Mm -hmm. They speak volumes. Those are the things that spark a real connection. They can really make a difference. And I think those moments are even stronger. Okay. When you're not worried about a big bill. Ah. Or being in some fancy place. Yeah, yeah. When you're on a free date, mm -hmm. you're more focused. You you're know, more in the moment. On your date. Right. And how you're connecting with them. It takes the pressure off. Exactly. When you're not thinking about money, yeah. it feels more genuine, more real. You're just being yourselves. Exactly. You're just enjoying being together. And that's what matters. 
So maybe that's the key to a great date. Oh. Free or not. Okay. It's not about how much you spend. Right. It's about putting in the effort, mm -hmm. being present with the other person. Yeah. And seeing those little moments of connection. That's beautifully said. It's something to remember. Definitely. Dating doesn't have to be expensive to be meaningful. It's about connecting with someone. Sharing experiences. And having those quiet moments. That builds something special. Okay. I am so ready to ditch the dating apps. Uh-huh. Good for you. And embrace these free date adventures. Me too. Me too. I think our listeners are feeling it too. I hope so. Ready to trade those pricey dinners for stargazing? Or a game night at home? We've given them a ton of ideas. We did. Shared some secrets about creating those magical moments. Yeah. And hopefully they're excited about dating again. Fingers crossed. Remember, it's not about the money. No. It's about the journey together. The laughs, the talks. And those quiet moments. That make it all worth it. So go out there and explore. Connect with people. And most importantly, have fun. And you know, sometimes the best dates. Oh, tell me. Are the ones that don't go according to plan. That's true. So be open to new things. Let the connection lead you. I couldn't have said it better myself. And hey, if you have any amazing free date stories. Or even some funny disasters. Share them with us. We love hearing from you. Until next time, happy dating.